Well, to Japan now, where the state of the economy will be at the forefront of the new prime minister's agenda. Finance Minister Yoshihiko Noda emerged as a surprise winner in a five-way fight for the job. I want to head straight to Margaret Conley now for more on this. Margaret, what's been the reaction there? Contenders boldly blocked controversial power broker Ozawa. Noda, Japan's finance minister, is the DPJ's pick. He received 215 votes in the second round today. Ozawa, backed Kaeda, received 177. It appears the split votes went to Noda away from Ozawa's camp. Now, holding the DPJ party together will be a top priority and challenge for Noda. Here is what he said in his victory speech today. <laughs> All members of the party should come and unite to tackle and solve the issues of the earthquake and the nuclear crisis and fight together on deflation and the strong yen. We all need to convince the Japanese citizens that they were right in voting for the Democratic Party of Japan. Well, where does Noda stand on the big issues, the big challenges facing the economy right now? The 54-year-old stands for the following. The tax debate, Noda backs outgoing Prime Minister Khan and calls to honor his proposal to raise taxes to pay for quake reconstruction. On monetary policy, he is strong against excessive currency movements while working closely with the Bank of Japan. He also wants to cut wasteful spending for economic growth. On nuclear energy, he wants to establish a nuclear safety agency and regain trust in nuclear power. This has been a fast and tight race among five contenders. Embattled Prime Minister Nat O'Conn resigned on Friday after 14 months in office. Noda is the DPJ's third leader since the ruling party overtook the LDP in 2009. But the campaigning isn't over. Now starts the jockeying for all those cabinet positions. Noda will be officially voted in tomorrow. All right, Margaret Conley in Shanghai. Thanks very much.